make sure you go straight off to sleep now. I don't want to hear you've been any trouble to the babysitters. Give me them now. Come in. Mrs. Russell. Hello. 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 Put your coats on the stand here. Oh, thank you. Now, I've just put Tommy to sleep upstairs. He shouldn't be any trouble. I'll just show you where everything is. Oh. This is the living room. It's very nice. It is very nice. Feel free to watch the television, use the stereo or whatever, but try not to be too loud. You don't want to wake Tommy now, do you? Oh, no, 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 no. no. The kitchen's this way. Here we are. Right. Uh, the kettle's here. Tea and coffee are in this cupboard here. Ooh. And if you get hungry, there's a nice flan and some sandwiches in the fridge here. Ooh, yes. Right? <laughs> To worry. We'll fix that while you're out. We've had a lot of experience with broken things. Lucky we were here, eh? Yes, well, uh, I think that's everything. Now, you go out and have a lovely evening. Don't worry about a thing. Remember our motto. There's never a muckle in the hands of a chuckle. <laughs> you can rely on us. Silly me. I fixed the fridge. You are sure everything will be all right? Of course. There's nothing we can't cope with. No disaster too big, no crisis too small. If Tommy does wake up, he can have a glass of milk, but nothing to eat. Just make yourselves at home. I'll try not to be too late. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, everything seems to be going very well so far, mate. Yeah. ourselves at home. All oh, right, bye. Where are you going? Home. You can't go home. You just said I should go home. No, what she meant was use this place as though it were your own home. All oh, right. Oh. What are you doing? Well, if this was my home, I wouldn't have the sofa there, and I'd have the TV over there, and the hi-fi over here, and this would go for a start. Da -da -da -da. Stop it, put it back, and sit down. Fancy a cup of tea? Yes, please. Good. Go and make one. What are you going to do? I'm going to lie here. Well, it's hard work, this babysitting, you know. <sighs> what do you think you're doing? You'll wake Tommy. It wasn't my fault. Oh, I suppose the pan's just jumped off the shelf onto the floor. No, somebody stacked them all up behind the door. Well, put all the saucepans away. I'll go and make a cup of tea. Oh, dear. <coughs> now look what you've done. It's broken. I know. We'd better fix it. I'll fix it. This'll do the trick. Treacle? Clever, eh? Paul? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course. All I've got to do is put a big blob on here and then stick it back together. Now all we've got to do is wait until it dries off a bit. Seems pretty dry to me. Oh, dear. Stickier than you'd think, isn't it? I can't get it off. Well, look on the bright side. At least we'll have something to hang you up with at night. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Come here. Right, to me. To you. Sorry. To you. To me. <whistles> oh! Mom! Now look what you've done. You've gone and walked Tommy. Go and check, see if he's all right. Why is it always me that has to go? We're being paid to babysit. One of us has got to be seen sitting. Right. Oh! Whoa, oh, hell! Paul, quick! I've been attacked! 
Barry, don't just stand there. Get it off me. It's a hat stand, Barry. But it jumped on me. I don't trust this hat stand. Keeps picking on me. Just put it back. I'll go and check on Tommy. <laughs> Forget the tea, Barry. He wants me to read him a story. Oh, can I listen as well? Because I love stories. All right, then. But you've got to be very, very quiet. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Good. Squeak. The giant was dead and everyone rejoiced. The treasure was theirs and they all lived happily ever after. to do that. No. You're doing it again. You never told me to stop it. Well, I'm telling you now. Stop it. I'm getting bored. We'll find something to do. OK. What? Anything. Read a paper. Not this paper. That's the only paper. Oh, we are then. I've nearly finished it anyway. Thanks. I think I'll watch some TV. <laughs> watching the television? I changed my mind. What about me? Well, I don't want to watch you. What can I do? Anything, as long as it's nice and quiet. Tommy's asleep in bed. Can I read a book? That's a brilliant idea. <sighs> Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a cottage in the middle of a wood. Oi! One... Shh! Oh. Oi! Shh! I'm not making a noise. It's annoying, OK? What's that noise? Well, it was a sort of a banging thumping sound, like... Well, who could be making it? I don't know. Tommy, Tommy. let's see he's OK. He's all right. He's fast asleep. So what made the noise? Oh, look. This lot must have fallen onto the floor. So why didn't Tommy wake up? Well, he's obviously an heavy sleeper. Here. Give me a hand putting them back. You pass them to me. OK. To you. To me. 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 
To you, Barry. To you, Barry. Joan is supposed to be passing me the toys. Oh, you never said. Shh, you wait, Tommy. Paul? Yes? Have you seen my book? Yes. Where? Here. I didn't leave it there. What do you mean? I left my book over here and now it's over there. Don't be silly. I'm not being silly. Are you seriously trying to tell me that your book's moved from there to here all on its own? No, but... But what? Nothing. Ow! Ooh. Now what? I sat on something. Yeah, it's called a chair, Barry. No, something sharp. Look. Yeah, it's a pin. I know, but how did it get there? Well, obviously, Mrs. Russell must have been doing some sewing and she's left it there by mistake. Oh, I see. Turn that off. How? The remote control. Where is it? There. Where? You must have stood on it. I didn't. Well, it didn't switch itself on. I don't understand. You never do. Just read your book and let's have some peace and quiet. Tommy's asleep upstairs. What is it now? What? What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I mean, what do you want? I don't want anything. Well, why did you tap me then? I didn't. You did? I didn't. Just read your book. I didn't. Barry. What? Stop it. Stop what? You know what. Do I? I don't know what's wrong with you tonight, Barry. But if you don't stop it, I'm going to lose my temper. But just stop it. Right. I'm still trying not to lose my temper, Barry. I never did anything. Barry, I'm going to give you three to turn on the lights. One, two... I've just lost my temper. I think I'll just go and check on Tommy. Got you now. Ah, ah, ah. Mustn't wake Tommy. Look at him. He's fast asleep.
my head's come off. Oh, no. Go and get the treacle. Now look what's happened. What is Mrs Russell going to say? Just a minute. Do you know something? I don't think this is Tommy at all. Well, if it's not Tommy, who is it? More to the point, where is Tommy? Never told us about Tommy sleepwalking. All's well that ends well. Yes. All we've got to do is mend the cup again before she gets back. No problem. A couple of blobs of my super sticky treacle will do the job. Hey, can I have a go? Oh, no, 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 no. You get this on something you shouldn't, you'll never get it out. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hello? So, no problems? Uh, None at all, thank you. So you had a nice time? Yes, thank you very much. And how was Tommy? Oh, fine, fine. He was fine. Yes, just fine. Oh, he's such a well-behaved child. Yes, well, uh, we better be going then. Oh, let me see you out. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're fine, aren't we? Yes, we're fine. Cheerio, then. Cheerio. <laughs> 